Good to you. I'm Carolyn Long. Kansas is now in the top 14 states for the most rapid spread of COVID-19. It was just last week, Kansas Governor Laura Kelly mandated mask wearing in public. But there's an area in Johnson County where you'll st still find children huddled together, no masks in sight. KCTV5's Amy Anderson joins us live this afternoon from Stoll Park in Overland Park with more on this. What's going on, Amy? Well, Carolyn, we got a tip from a parent asking why there were so many kids out at this park none of them wearing a mask. And when we came out today, that's exactly what we saw too. Dozens of children hanging out, what appeared to be a summer camp. So we started asking some questions. It turns out while this is a camp offered through Johnson County Parks and Rec, it also falls under the category of a licensed childcare program. And because of that, they are not required to wear a mask. We talk with Johnson County Parks and Rec this afternoon. They tell us they are doing what they can to keep the kids and their families safe. When they drop off each day, we do a wellness check, we take temperatures, we ask the series of questions if they've been around anybody that's tested positive or been to a hot spot. Um, the typical questions that you would get anywhere you go in a doctor's office or anywhere else. Um, we do that every morning. We've kept parents aware of all of this from the very beginning. So we've been very transparent with what we can do, what we can't do. Um, and parents that are sending their kids to camp, um, we have about a thousand kids this summer in our various camps. Um, and they've, they've been very supportive. They've been um, realistic about what we can and can't do. And they've been very appreciative that they've had childcare um, since they have to work. So if you see groups of kids gathered like this out at Johnson County Parks, it may just be one of those camps. And while the mask rule doesn't technically apply here, should it? After all, we know that is how we stop the spread of COVID-19. We asked why they don't just require them anyway just to be safe. We'll let you know what they had to say coming up tonight on our news at 6. For now, reporting live in Overland Park, Kansas, Amy Anderson, KCTV5 News. All right, now we know. Amy, thank you for that update.